breaking welcome to today's headlines i came i saw and i will conquer uzo dima i came i saw and i will conquer to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from stay tuned as i read today's news Governor O. Uzodima of Imo State has noted that occasions such as the Thanksgiving church service to mark the Armed Forces Remembrance Day should be used to discourage those who are not officially authorized to carry arms to drop their arms and stop causing trouble in the society. The governor spoke on Sunday at the Assumpta Catholic Cathedral already at Thanksgiving church service to mark the 2022 Armed Forces Remembrance Day. Officially slated for January 15th. Reassured, Imo, Imo people that has come to serve with the fear of God reiterating that what he saw on assumption of office was too bad, but that, by the grace of God, he is making frantic efforts to summon them. The governor added, I came, I saw, and I will conquer. He said on citizens of the country, to spare the thought of those who paid the supreme price, in their quest to protect the lives and property of Nigerians, as well as to defend a territorial ter- territorial integrity. Uzodima commended members of the armed forces for paying the supreme price for the unity peace and protection of fellow humans in Nigeria in general and Imo State in particular. He specifically lauded them for their efforts in Imo State recently that made it possible for the indigents and residents to celebrate the Christmas and New Year festivities peacefully and in a conducive environment. The governor seized the opportunity to thank the Archbishop, Most Reverend Dr. Antony J.V. Obina, and his team for the spirit field, homily, and the take away from the service. Uzo Dima informed that the government and the armed forces were at the church service to show solidarity to the families of the deceased soldiers who lost their dear ones trying to defend our fatherland and protect the lives and property of the citizenry, and to encourage the serving ones to continue in their good works to keep Nigeria one and Imo State in peace. He also reminded the congregant that it is not every decision of government that will go down well immediately with them, but that with time, that would appreciate why such decision or policy was initiated. It is only when such administration may have come and gone that such decisions will be better appreciated. Uzo Dima reminded his audience that all the challenges faced today in Nigeria in general and Imo State in particular are not peculiar them, noting rather all over the world there are challenges of either economic or social nature. He assumed 
of his determination in all circumstances to continue to protect the lives and the property of Imo people, which he swore to an oath and expressed the determination of his government to continue to recover Imo from the bad state of affairs, he found it an assumption of duty. Uzodima, who concluded his remarks by calling on the Archbishop to always find a place in his heart to accommodate the challenges the politicians go through, also enjoined the politicians to constantly have the interest of the people in mind as they go about their businesses. Early in his homily, most Reverend Obina had cautioned the armed forces against what he called unreasonable wickedness, hatred, brutality, and enslaving of human beings and use of military weapons to intimidate the people. He rather urged them to imitate God's reasonable kindness that made him to send his only begotten son to come and lay his life for us all, noting that we all will give account of our stead worship when we come face to face with our Creator. All the armed forces chiefs serving in Imo State, Army, Navy, Air Force, the police, the correctional services, the DSS, the Civil Defense Corps, were represented at the Thanksgiving service. Governor Uzo Dima was joined by his deputy, Prof. Placid Njoku, the Speaker of the Imo State House of Assembly, R.T. Honorable Kennedy Ibe, and his colleagues, the Acting Chief Judge of Imo State, Justice Teresa Chikeka, Secretary to the Government of Imo State, Chief Cosmas Iwu, Chief of Staff Barista Unamdi Ayehi, and members of the State Expanded Executive Council. All also in attendance were the Imo State Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, MacDonald Eberi and his predecessor, Marcelinius Lemidbo, and key party officials, interim chairman of the Imo State local government areas, key traditional rulers, and leaders from the state. Catholic Archbishop of Wewele Province, Most Reverend Dr. Anthony J.V. Obina, flanked on the right by Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State and on the left by Deputy Governor Prof. Placid Njoku. At the Azumta Cathedral already during the Thanksgiving service to mark the 2022 Armed Forces Remembrance Day, Sunday. To my dear listeners, Finally, we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.